welcome everybody to EuroPCR 2024. Today we are showing the importance of a correct lesion preparation before final treatment, either with drug allotin stent or drug coated balloon in a complex lesion setting. We are showing the case of a patient, a lady, that was refused by the cardiac surgeon due to previous radiotherapy at the chest for cancer. So we had to manage that in the cath lab. This patient also has a reduced uh, left ventricular ejection fraction. We were understanding and we we're trying to use Impella for this case, but technically we were not able to do that. So we decided to use aortic counterpulsation in a bailout fashion. So now let's see how is the case. Good morning. Good morning, uh, EuroPCR. This is uh, Dr. Bernardo Cortese. Today I'm from Cagliari, Brozzo Hospital, uh, with uh, Dr. Angelica Rossi, a good friend for this live case today. And we are here with uh, Serena and Massi that are assisting us in this quite complex case of uh, CTO of an LAD. Hi there. Uh, thanks, uh, Bernardo, for this great opportunity for my cat lab, uh, for uh, our team and welcome in Sardinia, uh, brought to Hospital of Cagliari. It's quite cold, but uh, Sardinia is uh, wonderful as uh, usual. So today we have a case of a 71-year-old female with uh, diabetes, and uh, this lady came for an acute coronary syndrome. Uh, left ventricular uh, ejection fraction is quite reduced at 35%, and she has a three-vessel disease. You can see in the images. Um, that uh, there are two CTOs in the distal RCA with a diffuse disease, calcific lesions, and the LED is occluded in the mid part uh, after a lung disease, including also the left main. The idea here is to use a microcatheter, a Pronavi microcatheter, which is a, a microcatheter uh, with a good uh, pushability. It's uh, hydrophilic in the last part, and it's able for hopefully to help us in uh, uh, achieving the distal lumen of the vessel. And the idea is to use a Fielder XTA to manage that. Save down. Save down. Okay. Save. So now we are dealing with the lesion. Uh, we are using an Alveo HP, which is a, a balloon dedicated for CTO, the very low profile. But the advantage is that you can you use it also at high pressures. You can go up to 20 atmospheres. Again here, up to 20 atmospheres. OK, we go to 20. This is a 1.5 by 10. OK, so you can, hear, you can see here that uh, after a predilatation with a 1.5 balloon, the vessel is still not open. But as I said, there is a, a collateral flow from the RCA, so there is some competitive flow now. We want to, after having protected the diagonal branch, we want to uh, increase the size of the balloon. We are using an RTMS, which is a sort of semi-compliant workhorse. Uh, but uh, you can see that it, it has a, a pretty nice deliverability. OK, you can inflate it here at slowly at 4, 5. There is a quite big calcification approximately. The balloon is not well expanded, so it's not uh, strange. So down. Because the idea is to, to do imaging, but I'm not sure if we will be able to visualize the CTO with the OCT. CTO with the OCT. Because it's quite, uh, the, the flow is not very optimal for, for the OCT. So now we are dealing again with it. And then we decide where to do the OCT. So again, 10. Down. Here you can see that uh, the balloon is making you know, some difficulties in expanding in the calcification. So we are, with the RTMS, we are at 14, 15. Okay, let's try a 16, 17, 18, 18. Still there. OK, down. So we don't want to force this too much. We are going to assess it with the OCT now. Uh, lesion preparation, this is the aim of this course, is of paramount importance, but it should be done in a stepwise approach assisted by imaging. So now we were not able to cross with the OCT, so we are crossing to a scoring balloon because we need to have more room for 
uh, doing the imaging. Now we have used a wedge NC, which is a scoring balloon with a nitinol wire, inflate at four. This is a 275. Okay, stop. Dieci, dodici, quattordici, save down, giù, 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 giù. Ok, so uh, a few seconds for you were 60 minutes for us because the patient unfortunately had a, developed a cardiogenic shock and then uh, she also had a cardiac arrest due to the blood pressure which went very, very down. So we had to call the anesthesiologist to intubate the patient, put a, um, a counter pulsation to achieve uh, uh, a, a nice uh, blood pressure that allowed us to go on with the, with the case. So what we did afterwards was to uh, manage the left main disease. We put a stent, a 3.5 by 30 from the ostium of the left main versus the uh, proximal LED. Then we did uh, um, a, a kissing balloon with a circ, which was open with a balloon in a provisional stenting approach. And then we use a pot, non-compliant balloon, for the dilatation of uh, the proximal part of the stent in the left main. Uh, that was uh, uh, pretty nice done, nicely done with a pot, non-compliant balloon, which has very small shoulders and allowed us not to go into the proximal LED. And that was good. And then we uh, went again in uh, managing the proximal and mid LED. Uh, we went uh, again with a scoring balloon 3.25 in the proximal LED to uh, reopen it nicely because according to the, uh, the OCT there was still a calcification and recall that had to be managed somehow. Then we reopen, as you can see, okay, inflate at, at uh, 8. We reopen the uh, CTO, which had again a recoil, uh, and now we are using a drug called a balloon, 12. This is uh, one of the latest generation drug called a balloons, uh, Restore. It's uh, a paclitaxel called a balloon uh, with an amorphous formulation, 14. Uh, so there is no risk of distal embolization that you may have with some other types of drug called a balloons so in a crystalline formulation. So now we're inflating the first Restore at the site of the CTO, it's uh, 30 seconds. And now we would like also to manage the proximal part of the LED. Let's let them, let's show the, the last angel, this one, okay. Uh, which was prepared with a scoring balloon proximally. Uh, and now we would like to manage that also with uh, another drug called a balloon. Okay. So this is the restored Dracode balloon with a amorphous formulation. You can see that there is no flake of paclitaxel on it. Okay. Okay, so now we have delivered the drug with three uh, Dracode balloons, paclitaxel. Um, now we are waiting. You can see here the acute result. Now we are waiting a few minutes. In the meantime, we will finish the optimization of the stent in the distal part that we are doing now because we were not able to know if to we had to put another stent. But now we would like not to put another stent, so we are optimizing it again with another pot, uh, non-compliant balloon. And then we'll assess it uh, with imaging. This was a 3.5 pot, non-compliant balloon for the proximal. Uh, in this case, it was a distal optimization. Eight. Dieci. Ten. In the end, after the orthogonal view, we had this nice dissection, which is not really nice. 
So in the end, we decided to put a stent, which is a 3O by 22. And now we are post-dilating it. So we think that we can finish here. The stent was optimized. Unfortunately, we had to fix all of the part treated with DCB because of this, I would say, nasty dissection in a patient with low blood pressure, uh, adrenaline. So uh, during the weaning, there could be a lowering the blood pressure. So I, I wouldn't uh, be happy leaving this type of dissection like that. So we fixed them. So the distal part, the CTO, was managed with the DCB. Uh, we can intend it as a final treatment, hoping in the uh, uh, positive remodeling of the DCB, hopefully, or as an investment procedure in the next few days to see what is going to happen, because this patient will need to be treated uh, for the RCA. So that's it. Thank you. Also, the, the CERC is OK by the OCT. The diagonal branch is OK. What it's do you okay. think, Angelica? That can uh, we stop? We can uh, we'll ch check it. Uh, in a uh, in a few days yeah all right thank you very much bye goodbye bye bye